sedan. This is the 2005 Mercedes-Benz C230 compressor. Under the hood of the Mercedes-Benz C230 compressor, Sport. Uh, compressor does mean supercharged. Uh, it's the German variant of the word. Uh, this is a 1.8 liter supercharged four-cylinder. Uh, smaller engine, but uh, with the supercharging capability, uh, it's a 189 horsepower engine, which doesn't sound like a lot. Uh, you got to remember the C-Class is a pretty small car, and listen to these numbers. The EPA estimated fuel economy for this particular car, 23 city, 32 highway. That's pretty remarkable when you consider the, you know, the fuel economy and uh, gas prices today. But uh, the car's in gorgeous condition, and we're going to show you. Now, I can tell you all day long the car's in gorgeous condition. Let's take a walk around, make sure we know what I'm talking about. The only real blemishes I want to show you on the car, really all the way throughout, there's, really, there's no damage. There's a couple of stone chips across the front that I couldn't even put, cause just because they're in the clear coat. They're very, very small, very minor. Uh, there's a couple of chips I just want to point out uh, that are in the paint. Uh, you've got a small stone chip here, uh, just past the Mercedes-Benz hood ornament. And then if you look on this side, the way the contours of the uh, hood line up, these are uh, kind of in one of the grooves, but there's just two parallel side-by-side -side, uh, stone chips there. Other than that, there's really no damage to note. But I'll take you around the car. You can see the front end, the bumper, everything down there, the lower fascia that's part of the sport pack, all that's in gorgeous condition. Taking a look here. You've got a sport wheel on here because it is the uh, C230 Sport. This is a 17-inch wheel on here. You have on the front a 225-45ZR17 tire. Excellent, excellent tire. Uh, and a very, not, not the cheapest tire, if I might add. Now, this tire uh, seems virtually brand new. Now, when we purchased the car, the tires were already on it, but I would have to guess that there's about 95 to 100% of the tr uh, tread remaining because I do believe these uh, tires were brand new. Uh, when the car came to us. It has all the little rubber nubs on it, same with the rear tires. Uh, just gorgeous condition throughout uh, along the entire driver's side of the car. You can see the uh, turn signal embedded in the rear view mirror here. But look at the reflection, if you can, within the paint here. Just gorgeous throughout. You can see probably my legs behind me and also my uh, esteemed cameraman there as well. But as you come around the rear, even the exhaust tip looks brand new. Proper badging, C230 compressor. Again, compressor means supercharged. And then taking a look at the passenger side. Once again, look at the look at the reflection all the way down. Tires, wheels, excellent condition. Not a blemish, ding, chip, scratch to talk about. Just to show you some of the equipment in this interior, uh, I also want to note this is a non-smoker's car. Still smells a little bit like a new Mercedes-Benz, but it also smells freshly detailed, so it does smell nice in here. Uh, on the left where you can't see, you've got power windows obviously all the way around. Uh, there is an automatic function for the headlamps, so they will come on uh, automatically and go off automatically. Your cruise control stock, similar to Mercedes-Benz, uh, any Mercedes-Benz, it's uh, up here on the left. Tilt and telescope wheel, so it'll come out to you and also uh, go up and down. Lock that back in place. You do have controls here for the radio and also the trip computer, which is right up here in the middle. A bunch of functions in there you can customize. Looking up here, you've got uh, the main accessory row. Heated seats for me, heated seats for a passenger. Uh, behind my uh, cameraman's head back there, you can see we've got a power sunshade. I'll go ahead and uh, lift that up for you. You just hit this button right here, pops that right up. You'll also notice an electronic stability program here. Now, anytime you start the car, that's your traction and stability control. Uh, it's automatically going to go on. If you defeat it, you'll see the yellow triangle go on up here. But uh, it's going to be on automatically. You never really have to uh, intervene with that. This is your master lock switch for the whole car. The rear headrest, this will actually pop them down should they be in a position where they're up uh, to improve visibility. If you've got somebody back there, they just manually pop them up. That knocks them right back down. Now, you have an AM, FM, CD player uh, in here. It's great stereo. Uh, dual zone automatic climate control down here. Uh, you have a climate zone for the front passenger and uh, driver. In here, Mercedes-Benz six disc CD changer. That operates right through the radio here. Down here you got a five speed automatic. Now this uh, automatic has a manual shift mode. You can bump it to the right for an upshift, bump it to the left for a downshift, 
or press and hold it to the right, goes right back in drive, and you could just use it as a traditional automatic. As you can see in here, everything's in gorgeous condition, but I wanted to exemplify these sports seats. Uh, they have a more aggressive bolstering, very comfortable, very good for long drives. Uh, the sport models also come mostly with this brushed aluminum trim. Uh, definitely adds to the characteristics of this car, uh, much more sporting in nature than just your traditional C230 variant. Uh, looking above as well, power moonroof. One touch in each direction, easy to use. All right, behind the wheel of the Mercedes-Benz C230 Sport, you know, first first couple of feet down the road, it's a Mercedes. Uh, very solid steering, uh, great materials as well. You know, just as you'll find on any Mercedes-Benz, the interior is laid out very well, made of really top-notch materials. Very, very quiet inside, but uh, the steering's razor sharp, three-spoke wheel, good feel, leather wrapped. It's got the cutouts at 10 and 2. Just leave your hands there for a little bit more precise driving. Gauges are very simple, very clear. You've got a trip computer right here in the middle that'll give you a read on a lot of the data for this car. Uh, the ride is definitely firm, but not uh, punishing by any means. And the 1.8 liter supercharged feels fast at any part of the rev range uh, because of the supercharger. Uh, the supercharger turns along with the engine and it actually forces uh, air into the engine, hence making uh, the combustion a little bit more powerful. But just see the layout, obviously I've got more than enough room here. Uh, the seats are partially powered. The height adjustment and the backrest are powered, but the most simple of the elements, the back and forth, is mechanical. Just love it right here. But easy layout, I've got heated seat on right now, feels great. Dual zone automatic climate control, so whoever's my passenger obviously can enjoy that comfort as well. Uh, great stereo, power moonroof. You know, your luxury essentials, that's the nice thing is you, that you get in this car. And you don't really sacrifice anything, but as I stressed before, I'll stress it again. 23 miles per gallon city, 32 on the highway. And those are very, very realistic numbers. So knowing that you're really not going to have to put a whole bunch into this car and you don't feel short on performance. I know people automatically think a 1.8 liter uh, supercharged uh, four cylinder obviously isn't capable of decent acceleration, but the car is pretty quick. In it, supercharger spools right up, but listen, buttery smooth. Nice car. And perfectly quiet. Listen to that. I'm take my hands off the wheel, I'm just coasting along. A little fast, but <laughs> coasting nonetheless. But brand new tires. Beautiful alignment. The car really does drive it brand new. No squeaks, rattles. Everything just seems brand new. It's got the build quality of a Mercedes. They always say these are carved from a single piece of granite, and it's, this car feels like any other one. C-Class or not, it still bends. People enjoy that. You can't fault something as rock solid as a Mercedes-Benz. This really is the best of both worlds. You're gonna have fuel economy of a economy car, you know, much smaller vehicle, but uh, the solidity, build quality, and the lines of a Mercedes-Benz. Driving characteristic-wise, everything about this car is a sports car. Very comfortable, great options, great color combination, gorgeous stunning condition, brand new tires. This car really does represent a tremendous value. Got two great pieces of information here. Uh, I do have the report from Mercedes-Benz, which shows the original build uh, build information. Uh, brilliant sil silver uh, sunroof package, uh, which includes a garage door opener, auto dimming rear view mirror up here, uh, rain sensor wipers or automatic wipers once they're on their first setting, uh, glass sunroof, and uh, the power rear sunshade as we showed you. Uh, Five-speed automatic transmission. That was a 1390 option. Uh, Six-disc CD changer and heated front seats. So. The total MSRP on this car when it was new was $34,985. Uh, the Carfax report, squeaky clean, one owner vehicle, shows it was in a corporate fleet for four years and those are some of the best maintained cars, hence the reason the car looks as good as it does after four years of ownership. But uh, nothing else beyond that, uh, just shows a couple of registration renewals, but uh, as I said before, squeaky clean car, very, very well kept. On behalf of my partners, I'd like to say thanks for taking the time to watch our video on this beautiful Mercedes-Benz C230 compressor.
Uh, really a great car, but once again, this car exemplifies the standards that we expect of all of our inventory. We also recognize that you have a lot of competition out there. There's a lot of choices when you're selecting your next vehicle. But our goal is to bring the absolute best value we can forward and be able to demonstrate that value through our videos. Please check back with us often. Let us know if you have any questions. We'll be glad to help. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.